friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm keratom on the posterior aspect of the limbus now in this case i am going to do only one side port this is visco filling up the anterior chamber and then a side port is being made on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away and now capsulorexis we have fairly good red glow in this case here is capsulorexis the capsular tag is raised by the tip of the uterata forceps and the tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate size to rexes of about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydro dissection is done. Hydro dissection is done with 27 Gauss cannula and PSS and the nucleus is rotated. Now again some visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber and now I'm going to use this pre-chopper. This is Dr. Sohil Khan's pre-chopper and see how beautifully you can divide the nucleus with this pre-chopper. And now here it is one heminucleus is being divided into two pieces by the same chopper. So we have got three pieces. One heminucleus has been divided into two pieces and another heminucleus is there. And this is enough. Rest of the case is going to be so easy. You don't have any worries about dividing the nucleus and what will happen making a trench and whether it will cause PC rent while making the trench all those ores are gone and I just remove some superficial cortical lens matter hold on piece and emulsify it and then hold the other piece and emulsify it vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury fluorate is 40 ml per minute and ultrasonic energy is set at 60 percent though it is much less ultrasonic energy is being used. Now the heminucleus is easily divided into two pieces and the pieces are emulsified. During emulsification of the last piece I reduce the vacuum to 250 and fluorate 25 and so that stability of the antechamber becomes very good and no surge occurs. In this case I tried to remove some cortex by the tip of the phaco needle itself and then I stopped. I didn't remove all the cortex by the phaco needle in this case after trying for some time I stopped and now some more SPMC is injected in the entry chamber and then the cortex is removed the cortex from 9 o'clock to 7 o'clock is removed going through the main incision from 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock and some more from 12 o'clock a little bit of sub incisional cortex is removed going through the side board we have only one side port and width of this side port is about 1.6 millimeter 
and this is a 23 Gauss Simcoe cannula and now this little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done and then a uh, hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being implanted keeping the antechamber formed by irrigating fluid and this is the here goes the lens I'm not sure whether the lens has gone in the capsular bag or not is yes, the trailing haptic has gone in the capsular bag and now here goes the leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag so the lens was actually above the anti-capsular rim in this case and it has been placed in the capsular bag by the irrigating probe itself I didn't use any Simco and now the single side port which was there is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of it and after that this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time whatever visco is there sticking to the corneal endothelium is removed thank you very much for your attention hope this video will encourage you to use a pre-chopper particularly in soft cataracts where you cannot hold the nucleus firmly like a grade on grade on plus grade 2 nuclear sclerosis in such cases you cannot hold the nucleus firmly with ultrasonic with vacuum so in such cases you can use this pre-chopper there are other ways also like you can do a mechanical chop without using vacuum or you can tilt the nucleus making the rexis a bit larger all these techniques are also there be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical skills.